Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mic. My name is Mike. How are we all today on a scale of 1 to 10? 3 seconds to answer. 1, 2, 3. Fantastic. Let me start this video by saying this was not planned, this was not anticipated, this was not written in the script of the universe foretold events TVA Loki. It has been about 2-3 weeks since my last video on this channel and it's because the team upstairs is having a little bit of a tough time being creative at the moment and I was working on a video and then I posted on my Instagram story, which I'm treating my Instagram story as performance art at the moment. What's your sign, Leanne? So if you'd like to follow, feel free to do that. I posted on my Instagram story that I wanted to do a frame by frame analysis of this music video. And the Swifties just really pretty much put me at gunpoint and said, do it. A disclaimer to start with, I'm a Swiftie, it's true. I'm a big fan of Miss Swizzle. Two final things to discuss. I kind of look like Bruno Mars at the moment and I don't want to discuss that. Also for today's nails, this is what we're working with at the moment. I had a similar set of nails that I'd put on my Instagram story, performance art, and someone replied saying that it looked like a bare ass photocopied on a photocopier. So that was fun. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to change them. And I did this. And now that they just look like photocopied booty nails. <laughs> Come on, booty nails. You forgive, you forget, but you never let it go. I thought it'd be fun for us to sit down as a family and talk about the Bad Blood music video. Straight off the bat, babes, we're in London. And for what exactly? Taylor is so 3008, we are 2008, and that's fine to accept that. So we head into the office, and here is my first screenshot of concern if you will. The monitors have no cables. And while I do think that that is very cover of Vogue September issue, Miranda, um, Emily off to Paris, not Emily in Paris, very camp. I just have concerns. What are the workers doing? What is this place? There's also like these recording things in the background there, like very 50s, 60s spy, also imitation game, like that kind of aesthetic. Why would they have that there? Now Catastrophe, she is the moment. Now come on now. She had enough time to just destroy these men in masks, we'll get to that, and apply some lippy. Because you can't have dry lips at any time and I totally get that. Now Arson here, she is going for broke, I would say. She's just like snapped a lip. I want you to pay special close attention to this next couple of seconds. Those men in the background, where are they going with such quickness and haste? Where are you going? Babes, the battle's this way. Arson is about to get charged for grievous bodily harm. Catastrophe is just like doing a little bit of yas. Meanwhile, Arson here, she's breaking limbs. She's kicking people in the neck with a solid like six inch heel. Stiletto pump? Maybe. It has been set. And at this rate, I think she may end up in an Eleanor Neal YouTube video. So she hits this man, and then this briefcase just goes fucking flying. And she looks in the reflection. Now, I'm going to give you three seconds to tell me why this is a very, very culturally important screen cap. One, two, three. That was confusing. Carly Kloss met Carla. And the reason why that is so significant is because Carly Kloss is <clears throat> in this video. This video predicted Carly Kloss Met Gala. Something to think about. So she sees Catastrophe and then she just fucking geets it into this man's face, right? And she's like, yes, let me move my bang so I can read that again. Now Arson blows some ass powder into... Ass powder? Ass powder? James, what was that? She just like stabbed a man in the neck with a stiletto and now she's like... Pfft. And for what? What are they doing, babe? Oh my god. Now Taylor gets yeeted out into the London sky. This is hot. This is so excellent action movie Mission Impossible vibes. Me when Taylor falls out of the building in London. An ally has been slain. Taylor when she sees Arson push her out the window in London. An enemy is legendary. Stop. I don't even play League of Legends. What's happening here, you know? It's kind of giving cat scan. <gasps> cat scan, catastrophe, catastrophe scan. Something to think about. Take time and erase you 
That picture of Taylor there kind of looks like the one that I have from the Wonderland shoot on the wall. It's all connected. Why is there a topographical map? So Taylor's on this little bed and a wind arrives and she is taken to the girls. Enter stage left, stage right, and stage back, Haley Steinfeld as the Trinity. Why are they strapped to the floor? The matrixification of it all. Haley as the Trinity here, she's grabbed the shoulder pads. What is she doing? It's like, you know when cats do that thing when they're like, row, 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 row. it's like that kind of aesthetic. Row, 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 row. Bye. After a few shoulder touches, the Trinity's like, yeah, slay. You're ready to go. The slay was slain. Now McQueen Taylor walks into this underground base bunker locker with just hashtag hot girl summer happening. And here begins the start of the spiral for me. She's got a, like, it looks like a grenade launcher and she punches the wall. Oh, h &S alert. Somebody call HR. This is not good. Why does she do that? Take a look what you've done, Dilemma. You've bloody messed up the building, haven't you? Slazy. What is she bringing to the team? She's bringing a makeup mirror that has the things on the side. And a dog? Why is the dog there? Please let my bestie out of the bunker. Who just wants to run free? And she just fucking sends that shit into the ceiling. Okay. All right. We've finally arrived at the section that inspired this video entirely. Taylor says, now we've got problems. And this is what we see. Yeah, we have problems. I have so many problems with this. Oh my God. Okay. Here we have Ellie Golding in leather short shorts, three belts, and a loaded rocket launcher. And her name's Destructor X. Okay. Let's really just break this down for a second. Why is Ellie Golding holding a loaded rocket launcher in this little locker room moment? On the other side of this locker, there's a dog. Did she not think about that? There's so many health and safety like issues here. Destructor X, paging Destructor X, babe, put the rocket launcher down. You are not on the field yet. She's itching to get on the field. She's been working at the desk this entire time. She said, it's time for me to enter the field. Let me in coach. Taylor said, sure. And now Destructor X has turned up in the locker room with the loaded fucking rocket launcher. And she's about to get taken off the team. Why is she at me? Solve them. Babe, put the rocket launcher down. So Taylor walks through the wall. She's like, yes, slay. Why are they in a glass car? Why are they in a glass cube with shit on the windows? Guys, I'm spiraling here. What is this car? Cara Delevingne, she drops the um, Birkin there and it turns into nunchucks, of course. Look, it's okay to admit Crimson Curse ate everyone up because it's true. Ice Queen Slay boots the house Charlie, for sure. Frostbite with a Y. So she drops this spinny shit and she's swinging that thing around at Catastrophe. Bestie has no armor on. She's like some gloves and a little bit of fluff everywhere, but babe, put some knee pads on at least. And she doesn't even have a weapon to fight back with. What's going on here? Now Bestie's fighting. She's in the ring. She's Austin McBroom. <laughs> I'm kind of getting Vinnie Hacker vibes. And she's strapping up to fight Knockout, who is famously Kylie Kloss, who famously defined camp at the Met Gala. The girls are fighting, everyone's watching, everyone's cheering. This is definitely fruity vibes. I'm assuming that uh, Miss Catastrophe is doing all this shit because she's training. What's she training for? To fight arson, of course, because why? Arson blew the arse powder into her face and knocked her out of the building in London. Exactly. POV, you just forgave, forgot, but you never let it go. You forgive, you forget, but see, the thing is, you never let it go, do you? You just don't let it go. When are we as a society going to accept that band-aids do not fix bullet holes? I'm sick of this, like the discourse of everyone saying band-aids fix bullet holes. They don't, babe. They don't. You say sorry just for show. Butt nails. The girls are near the gherkin again. Now, this little frame compared to the start makes it seem like it's a similar location to what we started with near the scene of the crime, which was family pushed out of the building because of the ass powder. Where is Destructor X? But I told you, Destructor X, aka Ellie Golding, she was just too fucking keen to get on the team, right? She was just brandishing that loaded rocket launcher in the locker room. She didn't even make it out onto the field. I know she's just pissed. She's on the comms now. She's like, eh, arson's arriving whatever she wanted to be there so bad but she cooked it guys i'm screaming and crying in tears on the floor right now it's the same background 
It's the same background as Taylor and her squad. They're walking from the same direction. What does that mean for the lore of this music video? You know? Is it suggesting that they are the same team, just different versions of each other? Ooh, that's kind of sucker punch vibes. Can these besties even fucking breathe? Are they okay? Has anyone checked in on Arson's besties? That moment when you're walking from the gherkin to the gherkin. Me when I'm at the fridge. <laughs> Who's blowing this shit up? You know? Me when I go to a public bathroom. Who is blowing this shit up? Me at my old job at that specific time on a Friday when I would go to the bathroom and it would have been blown up and like actually clogged the toilet. Someone would clog the toilet at my old job every fucking Friday after a certain amount of time of the day. Like there'd be a blocked toilet every Friday. What's that about? It's fucking Destructor X, I just know it. So we get a little like flashback reel. Destructor X, babe, what are you doing? What is she doing? Someone, Destructor X needs to be locked up. The ice that Destructor X is on could not be fucking thinner. Now hold on, let's watch this, ready? She's like charging up the rocket launcher and she just fucking sends it. And you can tell she's still in the fucking locker room because there's Domino in the background. And she's just fucking sending this rocket launcher. And for what? Clicks views and engagement, babe. Haven't we suffered enough? That's what the explosions in the background are because fucking Destructor X just blew up the home base and home slice while she was at it. This frame here, very, very culturally important. Um, I don't want to undersell how important this is. This is what happens when you think band-aids fix bullet holes. It's just not like that. If anyone tells you that band-aids fix bullet holes, just show them this and be like, this just, it doesn't work. Arsene's band-aids did not fix the bullet holes. She said sorry just for show. This frame right here was in my dreams for months because they're so close to each other, but they're not looking at each other. The green screenification of it all. It looks like Catastrophe slaps Arson. As we said before, Arson's just fucking going from broke. She doesn't even care at this point. She knows she's going to jail. So she's like, let me just send it. She whacks her in the temple. <laughs> I begin to pass out. <laughs> and then my head hit the wall. Boom. <laughs> Band-aids did not fix bullet holes. So everybody, what can we learn from this video? The number one takeaway is that band-aids do not fix bullet holes, they cannot fix bullet holes, and they should not be used to fix bullet holes. And do not say sorry just for show, because when you live like that, Destructor X will fucking launch the fucking rocket launcher in the locker room. This right here is what happens when you say sorry just for show. An enemy is legendary. Me when I look at Destructor X. Wasn't that just a lot of fun? I would say it was. Yeah, fantastic. I will get back to work on the other more serious video essay type videos, but I just needed to get this out of my system. Some clownery was in order. Just the clownery that the doctor ordered. Hashtag butt nails. But yes, thank you all for watching this and I will see you all soon with a proper video. Allora, andiamo ragazzi, ciao! Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.